WWE fans are sometimes just as entertaining as the wrestlers. He's there! And he's there! Before John Cena made his iconic WWE debut on SmackDown, he competed in non-televised matches before WWE went on the air. During one such match in 2002, Cena took on Shelton Benjamin. I guess one fan didn't like it and decided to make his feelings known in a mean but funny way. Everybody is afraid of public speaking, so when Jack Swagger spoke for the first time on ECW in 2008, he must have been a little nervous. Unfortunately for the all-American American, the fans weren't going to give him a warm welcome. I guess some things never change, do they, Tommy? In late 2016, Neville turned heel and joined the Cruiserweight division. It was a good decision, and the High Flyer soon became the Cruiserweight champion. However, that didn't stop the fans from making fun of him. While addressing Titus O'Neil, a fan showed this at the King of the Cruiserweights. It's a fantasy. This one might be more tragic than funny, but I thought I should share it. After successfully defeating Evolution at Payback, the Shield was staying strong the next night. Or so it seemed. The group was confronted by Triple H and Randy Orton, leading to Seth Rollins' shocking betrayal. This caused one fan to shout what we were all thinking. In 2012, Kane and Daniel Bryan were put in their iconic anger management storyline. At one point, their therapist, Dr. Shelby, had the two try each other's preferred food so they could learn more about one another. Bryan was given meatballs, leading to a fan shouting, Besides being a wrestler, Chris Jericho is also a singer with his band Fozzie. Jericho's group shares the same name with the Muppets character, Fozzie Bear, which angered one WWE fan. At the 2007 Judgment Day pay-per-view, Shawn Michaels took on Randy Orton. Due to a backstage attack earlier, Michaels was in no condition to compete, but did so anyways. The match ended unceremoniously when the referee decided that HBK could no longer compete. It was so bad that Michaels' wife came down to the ring and the showstopper had to be stretchered out. As he was leaving, a fan said this. If you don't know, Michael's wife used to work for WCW as a Nitro Girl. A week before their iconic SummerSlam match, John Cena and Daniel Bryan came face to face in the ring. Cena told Bryan that he had defeated Bryan's peers, which included Shawn Michaels, The Rock, CM Punk, Batista, and many more. Bryan had this to say. You talk about all those people like they are so much better than me. It's funny hearing fans shout things at wrestlers, but it's even funnier when fans start shouting at each other. At TLC 2016, The Miz interrupted a backstage interview with Daniel Bryan. As the segment wrapped up, we heard a pretty hilarious discussion. Enjoy. Go back to real world! The 20th anniversary of Raw featured many stars from WWE's past. This included The Rock and Mick Foley reuniting backstage. Unfortunately, the moment was interrupted by Vicky Guerrero. The fans hated this, and one individual took a page out of The Great One's playbook to express how he felt. This is my show. Not your show. <laughs> Not your show, but my show. On Raw in 2017, one fan was very excited to see Goldberg. See what this man did by hitting the video on screen. 